Hey everybody, so, I just wanted to do my last vlog for today, and I think tomorrow I will show you a few things more about me, but, you know, not sure. I really do want to sing, but I think for today I'm just going to ask if any of you would like me to, to, um, really kind of expand that, that little short I wrote. You know, that little romantic thing. Because it is a lot of fun to write, and I'm actually currently expanding on my Assassin's Creed thing. But, um, yeah. That I will publish to the fanfiction site. If you are a fan of fanfiction, and I mean good fanfiction, there is this one story I really would suggest you checking out, and it's not me. It's not one of my stuff. It is a story written by somebody else completely called Legend of the Sky Cat, and it's actually a Pokemon fanfiction, and it is flippin' amazing. Uh, it's, it's so good that I keep, like, I'll, I'll quote it, you know, like, oh, like, I've read it twice now, and, um, it's so good. There's another one I really like, but I think the author was foreign, because she uses a few words wrong. But other than that, and it's kind of different writing. It's not flippin' amazing, but the plot is so well done that I didn't really mind. Plus, I was, like, craving Ikari shipping, which is what it's all about. I also really much, I pretty much only write Ikari shipping when I write Pokemon now. Plus, I write my two OCs that I made. Because then I don't have to worry as much about keeping in character. Because sometimes the Pokemon characters are hard to keep in character because people usually age them. And, you know, they're like young preteens in, in the anime, and, and then you take them and you make them into young adults, it's harder to keep them in character completely. So, you know, for me, I used to completely go OOC back in the time, like out of character, that's what it means. And now I'm a little better, especially with my Assassin's Creed, I'm doing way better at keeping in character. All my characters are in character. Plus, I have a lot of OCs, because this is actually about Desmond Miles' son, which isn't in the games. So, uh, Zeke Miles, I will post. You can look at it. Um, I have a few others. Back, um, a while ago, I was in the Assassin's Creed fandom. I'm not anymore. The Assassin's Creed fandom is very vol volatile, toxic, and mean. So if you don't like everything they like, they will flame you. I mean, I was pretty much told death threats. And the funniest one was, someone goes, I'm going to kill you. And I go, well, have fun for hiring the hitman to kill me, because that's expensive. And he goes, well, you think I need to hire a hitman? That, this is Assassin's Creed, baby. We are the hitman. And I was literally lolling so hard. Like, it was, oh my god, that was the stupidest thing I've ever heard. So, just, if you like Assassin's Creed... Be warned that the fandom can be very toxic. I know lots of people are not that rude. So trust me, uh, probably most of them are very nice people. But a few bad apples ruined it for me. I mean, I got like 50 death threats because of one thing I said. So I'm like, I'm not, I'm not in the fandom anymore. <laughs> um, but I still love Assassin's Creed and I still write for it. Which is why we'll be LPing it sometime in the future, so... Um, look forward to that. I have no idea when. Probably soon, though, because I have a lot of ideas for it. Um, but, and I'm really, actually, really good at those games. I'm actually pretty decent at them. A lot of the times, I'm good at most games I play, but I'm not spectacular. Like, when I play Mario platformers, I'm not, like, Proton John. It took me, like, 500 years to figure out how the fuck to do a wall jump. So... Um, I'm not amazing, but I'm decent. So, uh, I'm actually a lot better than I used to be, too. Because I just learned controls better. Uh, when it comes to RPGs, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good at strategy, unless it's Fire Emblem. Whereas, I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? I love Fire Emblem, though, but half the time my units die. And then I'm like, no! So, uh... I really want to do most a lot of games where that I grew up with. Uh, one game that I grew up with that I can't LP because it would make for the most boring game in the history of the entire universe to watch would be Harvest Moon. 
and I'm actually trying to think of a way I could LP it, like, do, like, scattered, like, I would make a video on, like, how to get started, and then I'd make a couple of videos after that on the stuff I find, but I don't really know if even that would be good, because I just, I kind, like, it's so repetitive, it's, like, repetitive gameplay, but for the game, for the person playing it, it's fun, but for someone to watch it, it'd be boring as hell, and I have no idea how to, how to do that, you know? I'm still trying to get into the habit of looking at the camera, but it's not exactly easy. Because I always want to look at myself, which is dumb. I would need to look there. <laughs> Anyways, um, I want to LP a few other games I played a ton. Most of the games I played when I was younger after when I got into WoW, besides WoW, were Pokemon. I played Pokemon almost extensively. I also played a lot of Animal Crossing Wild World, which I don't think I'll be playing anymore because after New Leaf, Wild World is, like, to be perfectly honest with you, terrible. They didn't have any events. They had no holidays. They, well, they had events. No holidays. The pictures were taken out of it. It's just, after you get used to some, there are some things about Wild World I do wish would come back. Like, to donations to things. That was kind of cute. Uh, the bottles. You know. The bottles on the sand I wish would come back. But other than that, it, it's just not as good of a game. I mean, all Animal Crossing games are fantastic, but... Trust me, it had flaws. And once you get used to a certain thing, like... I played Skyrim, and I wanted to get into the Elder Scrolls universe, so I would... So I downloaded Oblivion, which was like, what, 10 bucks on Steam? And I tried playing it, and it was... The graphics are like some of the worst graphics you could possibly imagine compared to Skyrim. Now, I'm not saying of all time. I'm just saying compared to Skyrim, they are crap. Plus, so if you, if you didn't play it beforehand, you would it, it'd be harder to get into it. So I was like, whatever, graphics don't mean anything. And you're right, graphic, and I'm right, graphics don't mean everything. But as I continued into the game, but <coughs> <coughs> there was some gameplay mechanics that were in Skyrim, but they were drastically improved on. Like lockpicking. In Oblivion, it's difficult. In Skyrim, it's like the Fallout thing. You go like this. So, um... I don't know, might be LPing Skyrim, but it'll be kind of like a, like a short LP, because I don't want to constantly go, it's just, it's, it's a never-ending game, Skyrim never ends, so I'd probably just have, like, it'd be like a weekly thing, instead of a daily thing, and my DS is done. Um, because Skyrim never ends, same thing with Animal Crossing, I'd have to set a limit on that if I ever LP'd that, like Chugga did, um. But I don't think I'll be doing it, because I have a feeling it'd be too similar to his. I don't really want to do that. Um, I might do an L, like a single video of my town, though. I think that'd be an interesting thing, because I do have a town planned on this one. This game. My frog town, where it's all just going to be frogs. It's going to be zen-themed, so Japanese-themed. Uh... So, yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting. It's already a really nice town right now. It just it doesn't have any frogs in it. Um, I'm just kind of sad about that. But on the plus side, I, I already told you this, but um, I'm actually able to edit videos now, and it's actually pretty awesome. I'm so proud of myself because I never really thought I'd be able to do it, because video editing, it just looks so complicated when it's really not. Um, that's one thing I'm super proud of. Uh, well, to wrap it up, since it's getting to be about 10 minutes here, of me just rambling constantly, I think I will just say, hey, follow me in Tumblr if you haven't yet. I don't post anything political. That all goes under my politics blog. I don't post anything controversial, it's mostly just reblogs and then my rambling. And the main reason I want you to follow me is so that my followers, who really want a giveaway, can get a giveaway, because I've been promising them a giveaway at 400 followers and I'm just like 11 short. So just let it happen, okay? 
I need to give them that stuff. I really want to make something for my followers because I love making things for people and I love making people happy and smile. So just please follow me so that can happen. I'm not going to do a giveaway for a hundred for 389 followers. That that's a silly number. That's just a silly number. Anyways, um, if you have a nail art idea, tell me in the comments or in Tumblr. Uh, if you have a crochet idea, tell me. If you have an idea for anything, tell me if you want to. Uh, anyways, 